This video is made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi guys, it's Calpine Peter here and welcome back to my cozy corner of YouTube. Today we are going to be playing My Sims. I am so gosh darn excited to get back into playing My Sims. This used to be my favourite, um, was it Wii? I think it was a Wii game or GameCube. I literally can't remember, it's been so long. But I am so excited. Let's not call it my town. <laughs> Oh, hmm. No, we're gonna go with Cozy Town. Cozy Town. Hi there, I'm Mayor Rosalind P. Marshall. I'd like to tell you the story of my town if you'd spare a minute. It's a pretty unique town to tell you the truth. This is Cozy Town. This is how Cozy Town used to be full of life, personality, and happy sims. Everything in the town was so unique and suited the many different interests of the Sims who lived here. This was all thanks to a special resident who had the power to use essences to build all sorts of great things. But one day the famous builder of Cozy Town mysteriously left. Nobody knows where he went but the town became, began to change. Sims started to move away. But from what I hear there's somebody else who has the ability to build with essences. Guys that's me. Apparently they're coming here to Cozy Town to help us out. I can't wait. I hear they might even be coming in on the next train. I wonder what they look like. Finally, I'm happy with the way it looks. Do you want to come see? She's had to carry a chair upstairs. Okay. <gasps> Welcome to Cozy Town. Let's go to Town Hall and let Mayor Rosalind know that you're here. This is a town hall where you can usually find Mayor Rosalind. Let's go say hi. People! Dala Pumi. Dormama Q? Mm hmm. Well, if it isn't Bo, welcome to Cozy Town. We're so glad you decided to come here and help rebuild the town. Have you filled out that resident res registration form yet? I'm going to need to file it before we move you in. TC Babo. There you go. Fantastic. Delightful paperwork. Oh, I love paperwork so much. This looks great. I really can't wait for you to help rebuild the town. I've heard you're great at that sort of thing. First things first, I'm sure you're tired. Let's get you settled into your new home. Follow me. Well, this is Cozy Town. As you can see, it's a little bit run down and there aren't too many people living here. That's where you come in. I know you'll be building it back up into its former glory in no time. Let's go check out your house. There's Buddy! Oh. What? Oh no, there's no house here. How embarrassing. Well, you're a good builder, so let's try building it now. <laughs> this is your workspace for your house. You can stack blocks here up to two storeys high. Move the pointer to the block you want, then press A. Okay. I think I'm done. 
them. Wow, that's quite a house. You really are a talented builder. Mm, yeah. I hear your real talent is using essences though. Not any, not just anybody can do that. Essences are found all around the world and can be used to build things by sims like you. Let's go out the town. Let's, oh my god. Let's go check out the town garden and see essences in action. Here are some red apple essence. You can plant them in the ground to make more red apple trees. Round up 10 red apples then come meet me back at Town Hall. I've got something exciting in store for you next. Happy she is. Green apple. Maybe this one needs some water. Yeah. What's this one? Yellow blossom. Okay, it doesn't get fixed after fertilizing, it looks like, so it'll be a chop chop. And then we can stomp stomp. And then we plant. Let's plant this one. We did it. Great, 10 tasty red apples. I've got just the plan for these essences. We'll use them later to build something for the town hall. Hey, did you know we built you a workshop where you can find where you can do your handiwork? I'll go show it to you. Follow me. Oh dear, not again. Looks like we get to build a workshop too. How exciting. Can't wait to see the things you'll make in a workshop like that. Now let's make something simple to get you started. Everyone needs a comfy chair, right? True. I just got one myself. This is your workspace. To build an object, fill in the ghost image of the object with building blocks from the ground up. Point at the block you want and press the A button or tap to pick it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's effort. Well done. Let's just go drop it off in your house. I got a chair. Oh, yeah. 
does that look? Is it wonky? No, it's not wonky. Amazing. Let's move this one a little bit closer as well. Is that one wonky? No. Brilliant. That's how you redecorate your house. If you want to make a new object in your workshop you need to have its blueprint first here are a few blueprints to get you started feel free to wander around town and say hi to everyone come find me at the town hall later i may have a job for you okay let's go oh my god i'm so fast what the heck oh, oh i'm napping Oh, huh? isn't a nightmare? Hmm. <laughs> that was so cute. Uh. Should we go see Violet? Can we use Violet? Ribsy, hmm. I had such a crush on her when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Bo. I'm known as Violet Nightshade and I live here in Cozy Town. I believe that Mayor Rosalind has requested your presence at the town hall. Oh, okay. Tiwava. Aw, Jelona. This is so cool. Hmm. <laughs> No, this is Violet's sister, I think. Hi there, I'm Poppy and this is my flower shop. Don't you think flowers are just the best? I sure do. Oh hey, I think Mayor Russell was looking for you in the town hall. Maybe you should go see what she wants. Tiggy tiggy tiggy! <laughs> <laughs> tiggy tiggy tiggy! <laughs> This game's so cute. Hi. When you get one of these little cutscenes, it means that they're going to ask you to remodel their house. Thanks for coming. I really need a podium so I can practice my important speeches. You just got your first task. To complete it, go to your workshop and build Mayros in a podium using four red apples. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hmm. Oh, the absolute speed of me. Where's my workshop again? Oh my god. Uh, back this way. And then, what is this? Oh, it's... So what are you... It's like the dark wood stuff, isn't it? Look how determinedly I run. <laughs> what can I task? Okay, oh, uh, yep, yep, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, now we go back to the town hall. And we give her her thingy. Now where do you think this should go? Here? Oh, for Papa. Oh, why won't it centre? That's so annoying. Oh, but it's perfect. Now I can practice all of my important speeches. Here, take my personal chair blueprint as a token of my thanks for a job well done. 
Also, for completing all of my tasks, I'd like to give you a present. Here's a potted plant. You can use it to decorate the inside of your home if you'd like. I bet if you help other tones folk out, they'll give you presents too. And I put my pot potted plant down. Oh yeah. That's a nice color. And then let's go with... This color for the bedroom. And then maybe... Orange for the bathroom. Nice. Looks a bit better at least. Okay, so I know that Poppy likes um, cute stuff. So if we go and get the blossoms from over here. And then I'm going to go chop down the dead tree outside Violet's house and put the thorn tree in. And then that's also in my house. Where's Poppy again? She's this way, right? Let's plant some cute things outside her house. So now she has little cute blossom trees around her house. And then I could always make this area here like the cute area and then this area over here is the spooky area. Hi puppy! She wants happy a flower stand. Uh -huh. yeah. oh. <laughs> Let's collect some more happy. <laughs> and let's go make her a flower stand. I think I'm this way. Work on a task for Poppy. Yeah. Something that wasn't on the wall. Let's go get Poppy. This flower stand. I always put it next to the door. It's like, it's where people are going to buy them. Yay, now my flowers have a happy house to live in. Thank you so much. Hmm. 
Hey, what else does she want? A bed. <laughs> Do you not already have a bed? I feel like she'd like that colour more because it has flowers on it. But this colour goes better with her house. Let's go with that colour. She is. Under a shell? No, I think here. Here is cute. Yay, I can't wait to sleep surrounded by such cute flowers. <sighs> Congratulations, your town has reached star level one. Mayor Rosalind has authorised you to use the crowbar. Now you can break through any boarded up areas you may find around town. You've also unlocked a bunch of new blocks and blueprints in your workshop. Bo, did you hear? Cozy Town has been rated one star town by the Town Star Ratings Board. Isn't that exciting? The higher our star level rating gets, the more people will want to move here. I bet if you work really hard, you can make Cozy Town a five star town again. In fact, you should check in with Buddy at the hotel and see if we have any visitors. You can use your map to find the hotel if you don't know where it is. I know where it is. <laughs> Who have we got? Chef! He's a uh, Ubi. Chef Neb? Hmm. I'm Chef Gino. If you build me a restaurant, I can bring my world famous pizza to your town. Oh, hiya, pal. Look, an actual guest just arrived on the train. Good thing I've been practicing my salutes. Hey, you should ask that sim to move in. That will help Cozy Town grow, right? Just talk to him and see if he'll move in. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Are you asking him? Twibs, Tansy, Buzzing. Twibs! Magnifico, I'll wait here while you build me in an Italian restaurant. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. We're going to build Chef Gino's Pizzeria in the next episode and hopefully make it to two stars and get some more Sims to move into Cozy Town. Bye!